Hey there Dev Squad Vertus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 FPS tutorial series. Within today's video, we are going to be finishing off our level for our FPS game. So in the last video, what we created was this landscape, which is going to form the structure of our level. What we're going to be doing is taking a moment to add in foliage, adjust the lighting, the post processing, and also bring our zombies into our FPS scene. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. Now the first thing that I want to go over is populating our scene. Now we're going to be populating this with some trees, but if you want to you can take this one step further and use all sorts of other meshes. Now we're going to be using the foliage tool to very quickly paint in our trees. Now as part of the open world demo collection that we downloaded on the Unreal Engine Marketplace, we have got the trees which can be found underneath Kite Demo, Environments, Trees, and then we're going to be using the Scots Pine and the Scots Pine Tall. So we're going to start off with the Scots Pine Tall, and instead of just dragging and dropping it one by one, we're going to go into our foliage mode, select it, and we're going to drop it into our foliage type. Now with this, what I could do is just left click and it's going to paint it in just like that. Now what you're going to notice is yes, we are going to fill up our scene, but at the same time it's not very efficient, it's not very realistic, so what we're going to do is simply go down into these settings and adjust this. Now we're also going to be adding in a second type of tree, which is, which is Scott's Pine 01, and we're going to be putting that in there. Now with both of these selected, what we're going to do is we're going to set our scale X from minus 0.5 to one just like that. Now the reason why I've done that is so we have a little bit of variation. We don't want them to always be the same size. Once we've done this, what we're gonna do next is we are going to adjust the other settings. Now the other settings that we wanna be playing around with is first and foremost going to be our brush size. So you can make this bigger or smaller. And if you make it bigger, you're gonna be able to paint this in easier. Now, the one that you wanna be looking at the most is your paint density. If you turn this down, there is going to be fewer of these trees because you don't want there to be lots of them. So you wanna be looking at setting this down all the way down to say something like 0.01. Now, you can also turn down the density in our details panel underneath painting here, and we can set this down to something like 50, and what you should get is something that looks like this. And now if we were to go into our scene, we can just very quickly start painting in all of these trees just like that. And all I'm going to do is just essentially just fill up my level with all of these trees to essentially just give us a little bit of shadow and a little bit of depth. Now, if you guys wanted to, you could go through and you could add all sorts of things such as grass, bushes, ferns, and you guys can do all of that on your own time. It's entirely up to you. There is lots and lots of options out there for you to do it. For now, I am just going to leave it the way that it is. If you want to learn more about the foliage mode, then I definitely advise you go ahead and check out my tutorial series, which is going to be covering just that. Now, what we're also going to be having is a little bit of water in this pond here. Now, if you want a water material and you don't have one already, you can get one from the Unreal Engine Marketplace. However, what you should typically have underneath your starter content, if you go to starter content and then go to materials, is a water material in here with the name water underscore lake or water underscore ocean. Now, because I'm not too worried about actually being able to walk through this, what I'm going to be doing is just creating a basic piece of geometry. So what I'm going to do is go to the basic tab, go to plane, and then with this, I'm simply going to be scaling this up to 10, 10, 10. And then I'm going to put water underscore ocean on this. And then I'm just going to be bringing it in just like that. And this is essentially just us creating a little bit of water. If this isn't big enough, just keep making it bigger. So let's go with 20 by 20 by 20. And what we have got now is a little bit of water for our scene. You don't have to keep doing the scaling with a details panel. You can always just scale it this way 
just like that. And you can play around with the different materials as well. We've got the water lake over here as well. Just play around with it and get yourself to a point where you're comfortable with your material. But for now, this is pretty much exactly what I'm looking for. So the next step that we're gonna need for our shooter game level is just adjusting the lighting because it's too bright. I'm looking for this dark sort of atmosphere with our zombies that we're gonna have. So we're gonna go to our light source and we're gonna set the intensity of this down to 0.5. Then we're gonna go to our skylight and we're also going to be changing the intensity of this down as well. Now you're not gonna see this change until you actually build your lighting, but I'm gonna set this to 0.3 instead. The real changes that you're gonna find with your level, however, is going to be when you adjust your post-processing. To do that, go to your volumes, add a post-processing volume into your scene, set the scale nice and big to 100 by 100 and 100, and then this is gonna cover the entire level. And then from here, we've got all of these different imaging effects that we could do. For example, so what we could do is we could go in here and we can use lens flares, we can use depth of field, we can use gain on particular colors, we can add a tint, we can do all sorts. Now, the main one that I'm going to be taking advantage of in this video is essentially going to be the lens image effects and then we are going to be using the vignette intensity and if we turn this up it is going to give us a bit more focus on the center of our scene if we then go to global go to our gain we can then from there we can also add a bit of a tint to our scene as well so we can add in a bit of orange we can add in a bit of blue and all of that good stuff and we can also adjust the other values to make it darker make it lighter but what we should have is something that looks a little bit like this. Like I said, if you wanna learn more about making your level look really nice, then I definitely advise you go ahead and check out that level design series that is available completely free on my channel. If we press play in this scene now, what we should have is this dark atmospheric level that we've got here and we can run around in it. Like I said, you can make it darker once you build your lighting by going to build and then lighting. One other thing that I wanted to add into this scene is the blueprint for my zombie that we have got. Now, to make it spawn by default, all we're gonna be doing is just dropping these randomly into our level, just like this. And Unreal Engine is going to automatically adjust the height. Just hide these behind trees, have them on parts of the path. You know, you can do all sorts of things like that, but this is essentially how you would place your AI into your level and then essentially as soon as you press play these are going to you know do whatever behavior you've script them, scripted them to do and they will find that player if that is what it's after so if i jump in here now what we've got here is all of our zombies now notice these zombies are not going to be moving and that is because we don't have a nav mesh bounds volume which is basically just telling these zombies where they can and they cannot walk so we're going to have to create one of these so go to classes and search for a nav mesh bounds volume. And then with this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to go to our scale and we're gonna set this to 100 by 100 by 100. And then we are just going to build our paths. Once that is done, if we press P, we should be able to see the areas that these guys can actually walk on in the green. So they can't go up the slopes, but they can go on the flat areas. So, if we go ahead and jump into our scene now, you're going to notice they're going to run around. And we can shoot them, we can kill them, and we can do all of that good stuff. Now, one thing you're going to notice with your trees as well, with this fresh foliage, is there is currently no collision on them. So when you're doing work in your foliage mode, select your assets and then go to your collision preset and make sure this is set to block all on all of these. And now if I was to run up to this tree, I am no longer going to be able to walk through it. And this is essentially the very basis for our FPS game, all set up and good to go. You can take it one step further, you've just got to take advantage of those additional series. That is absolutely everything for now guys. As usual, 
Thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.